Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome to Adam McCullough TV. I'm back with another video and another video very quickly on Rafael Varane. We did a video the other day which went absolutely mental. So thank you very much to everyone for tuning in, subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure you're hitting that red button down there and subscribing. Help me out a little bit. Come on, guys, get the notifications hit if you're already subscribed. But we did a video which said the Raphael Varane deal will be done this week. And now, less than 24 hours later, we are hearing about the fee being agreed, the personal terms being agreed, and of course, Raphael Varane being ready to swoop in for his medical at Carrington. This is all happening very, very quickly. In the wise words of Ron Burgundy, this has escalated very quickly and we will get stuck into all the information. It's been a hectic day for me. I've been down Manny with the lads. I've been in the studio with the boys covering this news all day long as it's been a pretty much all day thing. We had the here we go earlier on today from Fabrizio Romano. And as I've got in, after by the way, Rafael Varane news and then myself and Jay interview Rafael De Silva for Stretford Paddock we're now dealing with more Raphael Varane news. So it's been a day of Raphael's. Little Adam is just waiting for the Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to arrive. <laughs> and it would be a great trio. But we're here to talk about Raphael Varane. And as I said, get your thoughts in those comments below as well. So we got the here we go earlier on today. We heard that Raphael Varane firstly wasn't in training. Then he was in training. Then Fabrizio gave us the here we go. And then... Later on in the day, we hear that not only is the deal agreed between the club, but Rafael Varane's contract with Manchester United will be on a four-year basis with an option to extend for an extra year until June 2026. Manchester United do this with almost everybody. It's a four-year deal with an optional extra, three-year deal with an optional extra, five-year. With that optional extra is actually pretty helpful for United and I think it's a shrewd way of doing business. So shrewd, in fact, that I've started doing it on Football Manager. So... Um, that's what's going on with the contract side of things. That's been agreed for a long time. Um, Fabrizio pretty much saying that personal terms have been agreed since days and paperwork have been prepared in the last few hours. By that, he means the contract. He went on to say Real Madrid accepted the bid today, this morning. And that's why Fabrizio Romano gave us that here we go. Now, we heard they wanted 50 million euros to 55 million euros, which is around 42 to 47 point something million euro, uh, million pounds. So we heard they wanted 42 to 47 million pounds. But now the reports in England are Manchester United have agreed a fee of 35 million pounds plus add-ons for Rafael Varane, says the ESPN. And then BBC jumped in and said the fee for Varane is... 34 million rising to 42 million so that would be rising to around 50 million euros so if that rises to 50 million euros which is the 42 million pounds that means you're getting in for around 45 million euros um, with those optional extras added on now Mohamed Bouhafsi come out and said that Manchester United had agreed a fee of 50 million euros which is that 42 point something million again and as announced by the athletic the contract was four years plus the one year optional the player must respect a quarantine to return to england vm at the start of the week um i don't know what a vm is but nevertheless um we hear that he's obviously got to go through that quarantine period when he gets here whether he can still do a medical or whether they'd go over to him to do a medical i'm not sure how all those kind of things are going to get sorted out and how long that's going to take but the news is music to our ears the personal terms have been agreed with the player four years plus an optional extra 250,000 euros per week you hear around 12 million euros a year which for a player of his caliber of his quality entering his prime years is an absolute snip and I'm sure it'll be quoted elsewhere as going a little bit higher it may be because he's worth it then we hear the fees agreed with Real Madrid 50 million euros 42 million pounds including those add-ons 35 34 million pounds without those add-ons if we accumulate all those kind of reports we're hearing at the moment from outside of england and inside of england what you tend to see is i think real madrid have to pay a percentage of that um to lens 
um, or Lille or whoever, I forgot who I played for, it's been such a long day. Um, and as a result of that, um, you know, that may or may not be reported in some of these fees as, you know, coming from Manchester United. Um, so let's forget the fee. Let's forget the personal terms. Let's put the money aside. This deal looks like it's happening, barring a Rude Van Nistelrooy esque medical. Great news as well, especially with that quarantine. We remember what happened with, with Edinson Cavani having to wait to play for Manchester United. Now we're getting this done early in the window. So hopefully Raphael Varane can be ready for, to play for Manchester United on the 14th of August with his mate Jadon Sancho and everybody else in the team. Obviously Rashford might be going through his operation and all that, but hopefully we'll have all these players um, ready and available to go August the 14th when we play Leeds. And that's vitally important as well. Getting off to a quick start in the league is vitally important and getting these players bedded in with their teammates in their surroundings is vitally important and one of the things you hear about Rafael Varane we were all scared that he was using us for a new contract and you hear that he actually really wants to join Manchester United he wants to come to the Premier League he wants to come to Old Trafford he wants to play in the Champions League he wants to play for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer the man's got pull top shagger Ole Gunnar Solskjaer yeah um, bringing in the players. People doubted whether he had that pull to bring in the players. Myself included. And if you look at the signings he's made, Bruno Fernandes. Um, okay, you say you come from Sporting. It's not that difficult to tempt him. Jadon Sancho. Could have went to... He could have had his picker clubs if he wanted. But he's been pretty much set on Manchester United since last summer. Rafael Varane. PSG and their multi-millions wanted him. You know, Real Madrid could have kept him. He wanted to join Manchester United. Now, Manchester United are a pull as well as the manager as well. United are a bigger pull, obviously. But the fact Oli is making this happen and he's building this team, you know, shows you that they're probably right to give him that contract and back him. You know, we're moving forward, we're progressing. Okay, it may be a little bit slower than we expected and maybe it would have been nice to have a trophy along the way. But he's now built a squad um, which is worthy of being a Manchester United squad. We've still got a little bit more to do. I think we've got to get that midfield sorted out, get a defensive-minded midfielder sorted out. What's going on with Pogba? Either get him signed up, sell him, and then replace him. But we've got to get that sorted out. Are we going to get Kieran Trippier? But again, when you get the main bulk of your business done nice and early, you can relax then. I'm chilling now. Yeah, I'm waiting to see when Rafael Varane's going to be confirmed and we're going to get to see the pictures of him in a United shirt. But you're kicking back and you're relaxing in the knowledge that Sancho's done, Varane pending a medical, and we've still got lots of the window to go. And that's the way Manchester United should be acting. Now, I'm not going to get all carried away and, oh yeah, United are back and this, that and that and this. You know, Mur told this, like, we should be doing this. You know, we, it's like Chris Rock when he says, uh, people want to be praised for shit they're supposed to do. I've never been in jail. I look after my kids. Like, this is Manchester United. You're supposed to act like this in the transfer market. So yes, it's great to see and the improvement's great. Uh, but I think Oli deserves a lot of credit for that. And I'm so excited for the season ahead. And the good thing is as well, 73 million spent on Sancho. Apparently that's a structured deal. You know, 35 million pounds up front for Varane. We're spending money quite shrewdly. We can still recoup money in terms of potentially Lingard, Delo, Andreas Pereira, you know, whoever else is going to leave, Nemanja Matic, I don't know who's going to leave, let's say some of those players leave, you can still recoup money there, and you still should be looking to spend probably another 40, 50 million pounds, I expected United to probably spend around 150 million this summer, we spent around 108, so the money should still be there, with sales as well, to be able to sort out that defensive midfield position, sort out Pogba's replacement if he leaves, and you recoup another 50 million there, so, it's a good start to the summer so far. Long may it continue. And fingers crossed this feel-good factor is continuing into the rest of the season because Sancho and Varane signing for Manchester United. Say it again. Sancho and Varane signing for Manchester United. 21. It just might be coming. Subscribe, like, comment, share. I'm out of here.